Hey guys, how's it going? This is Josh with TechZone UK and today we're going to be looking at installing Nginx onto our Debian based Linux distribution. So as you can see here, if I just kept Etsy out issue, you can see I'm running Debian uh, version 7 um, with kernel version 3.2.0.4 64-bit. So basically the way or the easiest way you can follow along with this video if you've never done it before is to go right over to digital, uh, digital ocean and you can pull up and create a Linux server uh, for like less than a dollar uh, if you keep it up for like an hour. If you just open up a dollar, uh, if you open up the the um, the first server, I kid you not, it's going to cost you like zero point zero zero four of a dollar because um, I think that's their cheapest plan. Uh, so you can literally raise that up, you know, get some practice with it, and just destroy it afterwards, and you'll be charged like zero point four of a dollar. So it's it's crazy cheap. So just head over to DigitalOcean uh, and create a server, uh, and then once you've done that, we can then get into uh, starting our Nginx uh, server. So uh, first of all, what is Nginx? Well, uh, it's basically a replacement to Apache. Um, I personally like using Nginx. All the sites that I have on my dedicated server uh, run on um, Nginx, uh, run on Nginx with virtual hosts, which we'll be getting into in another video. So that's going to be really interesting. Um, but basically, we're going to install Nginx and we're just going to run a test site and we're going to get some things put together and it's going to look awesome. So, um, what we're going to do is, as we're logged in with root, if you're not, you can run the su hyphen uh, tech command and that'll put you into the root privileges. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to run app get install uh, Nginx like that. We're going to say yes to that one, and this is going to go off to the mirrors, download uh, Nginx, configure on our system. So we should now be able to go to CD uh, var dub 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 if it's already there. If not, we have to create it. No, it's not there. It's not there. Okay, so let's just go to cat. Uh, I'll slow down a bit. So I just did CD Etsy Nginx. So we're changing directory into the Etsy folder. And then the nginx folder, so we hit enter, and we're going to do ls, which will list all the files in that folder. And you can see we've got a few files and things like that. We've got our conf d file, we've got sites available, and um, we've got sites enabled, are very similar to uh, Apache. Uh, Apache does exactly the same thing with that sort of thing, but it's a little bit different. So if we um, cd into the conf d folder, okay, there's no, uh, it doesn't look like there's any. Uh, files in there so this is cd back one and we'll run the clear command uh, and we'll just do cat nginx.conf it's been a while since I've, I've looked at the config files so excuse me um, okay so what we're going to do is we're going to look at this file so we're going to clear this and we're just going to run nano nginx.conf okay so we can start editing this file so there's a few things we need to take um, pay attention to. Uh, first one is the user. Now this user here is really really important because if we're going to be giving file permissions to the web files, we need to make sure we give them to www data. Otherwise, there's going to be read or write issues and things like that. And I'm trying to not make this as comp I'm trying to make this as easy going as I can and not make it complicated. So just pay attention that this is the user that Nginx is going to use on your Linux system to administrate the uh, administrate the files. And there's the process. Um, we've got some events here. We've got HTTP with the basic settings. Uh, this is basically just applying globally to all the sites. Uh, I'm going to keep going down. And uh, we're going to see what settings we've got at the bottom here. Uh, okay, that's fine. We need to make sure there's an include rule at the bottom. And you'll see what I mean. Uh, and here, this is what we want to make sure that we see. Uh, is it says include Etsy Nginx conf d forward slash star dot conf and include Etsy Nginx sites enabled star so basically what this is doing is this is automatically including every file in the conf d file with a star dot conf uh, and then it's including the every file in sites dot enabled uh, into this file which is cool uh, we're going to keep going down that's fine so it looks like everything that we want to do um, I think it all looks a okay in there so we just made, basically needed to um, keep our eye on that include because uh, if that's not there then it's not going to work properly so basically we're going to do control x and we're going to ls and have a look at the files again so the conf d folder that's where we basically put the default.conf file uh, and that's where we'll start to be able to view our websites so uh, what we need to do now is literally get a conf um, file for nginx so i'm just going to find one of those quickly uh, and i'll paste that into a file and show you what i do then 
just found a script that we're going to use for this online. Um, it's actually from the DigitalOcean site, surprisingly. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to CD into the conf D uh, file, and we're going to run nano, and we're just going to call this uh, default.conf. Now, notice in the nginx.conf file when we edited it, it said that all, it's going to include all the files in the conf D directory that end in .conf. So any file that doesn't have .conf at the end is not going to be included, so it's not going to work. So just make sure you put .conf uh, at the end. So we're going to hit enter, and we're just going to literally paste the uh, this text here, which I'll put in the description. It's really, really simple, uh, and hopefully from this we'll be able to um, create our site. So there's a few things that we need to edit. Uh, we don't actually need this location line, so, oh, hang on, my bad, let me just get that back up again. Hang on, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do Control uh, K, which will cut out these lines. Uh, and as you can see, we've got the location, that's fine, we'll keep that in. And the server name, right, so server name, we can just call this. Um, my site, well, we'll, we'll, we'll keep it localized for now. Uh, index will be the index files on our web server. So this will be index.html, index.html, this could be index.php. Um, when you get into using PHP and Nginx, we will be looking into additional configurations to this because you do have to include it in your comp file. Uh, if it's, you basically have to install things like PHP upstreams and things like that and make sure they're included. Otherwise, there's gonna be problems actually running the PHP code. Um, so just by putting index.php there does not actually make PHP work, unfortunately. So um, here, this, this is pretty much all standard. So we're going to be including a, an index file. Um, so all this is saying, basically, we're creating like a virtual host, which we'll get into in depth in the video. But we're just going to be creating one site. So for the root, I'm going to literally create this as var dub 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 like that and that's where our files are going to go um, and we'll go index.html that's fine and we'll say control x we'll say yes and we'll hit enter so now if we ls in the conf d directory you can see that we've got a site called default.conf and now if we go cd var dub 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 uh, it's going to say there's no directory so we're going to do mkdir va uh, uh, slash var www and in here, um, oh sorry, we're going to CD now into the folder. So we've just created the folder, and now we're going to CD into it. Um, and we'll run clear. And in here, we're going to make a directory, um, and we're going to just call this uh, default, okay, like so. So now, if we do nano etsy uh, conf d oh oh what am I doing? nginx conf D, um, and we need to edit the default.conf. In here again, we're just going to put a forward slash and we're going to put default like that. Okay, so that's basically send the root of all our files. Where are they? So we're going to say exit, and here we're just going to put yes, and then we're going to enter. Um, and now, if we clear an ls, you can see in the www directory we have a folder called default. So we're just going to uh, cd into default. Okay, ls, and we're going to do touch index.html, and this is going to basically um, allow us to create an index file. So this is where now all of our uh, index files are, or our web files are going to go within this folder. So what we've done, just to clarify, we've installed Nginx, which is our web server. We've then created a config file that basically says this is the name of our site. This is where the files are kept and a little bit of back-end stuff to Nginx to recognize how to handle those files. Now what we've done is we've then pointed that file or that file to say this is where the website files are. In this case we've made it a var www. Var www is a standard for Apache. Um, so it's just because I went from Apache to uh, Nginx. It's just my, my habit of putting them into var. Um, so now what we can do is now we have our index.html file, we can literally just run nano uh, index.html and we can go this is our test, our test page, like so. Okay, we can do control, uh, control x, yes. Um, 
and now what we need to do is do cd dot dot and we need to go back to the var folder okay so we have our www folder there but what we need to do is do ch own and www data colon www okay and we're going to do ch own dash r because dash r means recursive uh, and this will then um, go through every file in the www folder and it will make the owner of that file and group www data now because we're root we don't actually need to be in the www data group um, so if we were to say have another user that were to edit these files we can just do um, we can add that user to the uh, www data group and they would have permissions to do it so now what we need to do is literally just get the IP address of the server so we're going to get this and I'll copy that and we're going to go to Google Chrome and we're going to open up a new tab and we're going to paste the IP address in and apparently we've got a problem so let's find out what the problem is uh, let's just restart Nginx so we'll do service Nginx restart that helps so it's restarting one conflicting server name okay so there is a problem there we may need to change the IP address ah well there we go, works. So, um, reason what happened there is because in our, the, it's hard to explain. Um, I'm trying to make the, uh, trying to explain it in the easiest way possible. Basically, in the configuration file that we did, so we did nano etsy nginx uh, conf d default. We've said that the server name uh, is localhost. Now, in a perfect place, perfect world, we would make this. Um, our site.com so basically that means that when the website comes through on our site.com uh, it would then redirect uh, to that that website if that makes sense so that's how uh, you'd then get into virtual host which we will do in another video um, so if I was to save this we'll just say yes and then just um, restart nginx again uh, we see we don't get that error uh, and if we restart directly on the IP it will take us to that site because this is our default site um, the way Nginx works is that say you've got one site called site1, site2, site3 and then you've got default say the sites are called site1.com, site2.com, site3.com and then just default if someone said site5.com uh, and that site5.com domain was pointing to your server it would automatically redirect to default so this would be a default page. So um, this is pretty much how Nginx works. It's a little bit com uh, complicated and there is a lot of documentation to read up on it. But I just wanted to show you the basics of actually creating your own um, Nginx web server. Uh, so if we go back to the terminal, uh, basically all we've done is we've uh, nano the we've created this config file which I'll put in the description below for you uh, and we've created a folder and we've stuck our web files in it it's as simple as that um, to get a web server set up so thank you very much for watching in the next few videos we're going to be doing some cool web apps we're going to do my MySQL administration and things like that so it's going to be absolutely awesome so uh, yeah thank you very much for watching and uh, yeah catch you guys in the next one peace